Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uncle Shorty here. Uh, Uncle Shorty's bassin'. Back at it again tonight. Um, made a video last night. Uh, made a little wake bait with the yellow perch pattern. Uh, if you guys haven't done it yet, go check that video out. So tonight, like I said, we're gonna be making. Uh, we're gonna be using a couple of stencils that my buddy from that guy Skimpy made. Uh, he made a video on making these custom stencils um, on his computer. Uh, made me a bunch of different awesome different style stencils on his computer. Uh, I believe it's called the Omega. I think that's the printer or the program. I'm not quite sure. If you go check his video out, uh, he'll be able to walk you guys through on how to make them. Maybe some pretty cool, uh, you know, just some basic hole ones here for the craws. You know, some small holes, a bunch of different uh, styles of craw patterns. I got a whole a whole baggie full of stencils here. I'm looking forward to using all these. Um, today we're going to be doing uh, this pattern right here. No, wait. Sorry about that. We're going to be doing this pattern. Uh, we're going to call this one the Skimp Craw. So we're gonna make this one right here for my buddy, uh, that guy Skimpy. So I hope he likes it. Um, right now we got this bait already painted up, got it done just white, got the bill painted or taped off, uh, just like we do with the start of every crankbait. Uh, we're gonna start off just painting the bottom of this thing. I mixed together some uh, some cinnamon, and I thinned that out with some reducer. Uh, mix that together in a cup and so now we're just gonna spray the bottom of this paint or this bait and uh, get us a starting point here all right so let's get get going right. hope you guys are having a good weekend so far Saturday night like I said my whole family's been fighting this cold. We've had this cold for about a week and a half now. It's kicking our butt. But they're all inside sleeping. I'm out here painting some bait. So life is good. All right. Let's get the bottom of that bait. It's kind of a light brown. You know, the color of, color of cinnamon. That's just the name of this paint here. But if you don't have cinnamon... Any kind of light brown will do. And this is going to be my first time using this pattern. I did spray it. You can kind of see there's some paint on this. I just kind of sprayed it on a on a you know a blank I had laying around, just to kind of see what the pattern looked like. But uh, haven't haven't used it yet, so we're going to be doing this for the first time together here. Alright, so now we got the bottom of that painted. Let me just make sure I got it all. And then we're going to heat set it. And then we're going to throw some, throw some color on the body. Alright, let me get some heat on this. Alright, so now we got that, that heat set. We're going to throw some of this shoreline blue. It's a real light blue. Uh, we're going to cover the whole bait in this blue. So, now I know what you're thinking. What? Why are we putting blue on this bait? Or why are we doing the whole bait in blue? But what am I, oh, and there's that. There's that compressor. Never lets me down. making my gun spit right now so I'm gonna wait until that thing's done and then I'll get back to you sorry about that all right sorry about that all right so like I said we're putting this blue on uh, we're just gonna be using this as like a an under base we're gonna wrap this in, in some tool so then all you're really gonna see is this blue kind of showing through a little bit at the end uh, so so that's my plan like I said 
I haven't done this this pattern yet with with these stencils so I got no problem doing it for the first time with you guys so let's do this blue and then I think we're gonna wrap it into some tool and do some red on top of it we're gonna do it kind of thick in red so then that way this blue really kind of shows through just in pieces in little spots all right so kind of like right now we got blue and then we got that underneath belly in that cinnamon color light brown cinnamon and we'll probably touch this up a little bit later on with some other color or you know we might go over it again with some cinnamon i'm not sure yet so make sure we get all the spots like i said in that video yesterday before you clean your brush make sure you got all the spots hit there's no gaps all right so let me heat set this and and then we'll get back to you. You want to make sure it's really dry before we put tool on it. So I'm going to really get this nice and dry. Alright, so now that we got that, that uh, blue dried, I went and got some of the tool. I'll show you that. It comes in a roll like this. I showed you guys that in the past. Uh, cut off a chunk of it. And got it wrapped around the bait here. Um, and then when I use these clips, you want to make sure that you... Well, for one that the bait is is super dry because you can scratch this stuff pretty easy so you know may a good thing is i know some people do is put a a, a layer of just clean uh, clear coat on before they use this stuff to kind of help prevent the bait from getting scratched um, just be super cautious as when you're putting it on putting these clips on um, and that would kind of help with the, the scratching um, so we are going to paint over this now um, I threw some just some straight red with some color shift and stuff color shift this is a um, red flash so mix some of that stuff together with some reducer and we're gonna paint the everywhere that we put the blue all right here we go and you want to aim you want to go straight on with this bait straight on with your brush it's a nice thin layer Then layer on this side. Get the front. Get that back. throw some heat on that real quick all right sorry about that um i must not have pushed you know record but what i did was after i heat set that bait uh, i started to throw some some of this little bottle it's uh tr just tr regular transparent red um over the over that other color um so we're going to continue doing that and keep going so like I said I'm not sure I thought I pushed record but must not have we're gonna make sure we hit the bottom hit the face yeah so I think this when we take this tool off with this with these lines I think it's gonna look kind of interesting 
You know, because I noticed that with, with crawdads or, you know, you look at crawfish, they have, you know, a lot of lines on them, a lot of veins running everywhere um, on the bottom, you know, especially on the bottom when you flip them over, uh, you can see a lot of, a lot of their veins, I, I don't know, I think they're veins, but you can see a lot of different lines on them, so I think this is going to hopefully <laughs> turn out pretty good. Alright, there's that compressor that we always look forward to. So let me get some heat on this and then we'll decide on what we want to do next. Alright, we got that dried up. Now we're going to throw some raw umber. Yeah, detail raw umber. Um, I think what we're going to do here is, is just a little bit over the top here. This is just for now until we take the tool off. Just a, a little bit on the top here, maybe a little thicker on the back. Um, so let's go ahead and get this shot. So just a little bit on the top here, just to give it a little darkness. Maybe a little thicker on the back. Side, a little bit on the back. Okay. Yeah, let me dry that up. I just wanted a little bit of darkness on the top here before we take the tool off. So let me let me uh, dry this up, and then we'll I'll show you with the tool off. All right. So now I got I got all that heat set. Uh, this is what we got after taking the tool off. As you can see, I the tool is on there. And uh, when you take the clips off and you and you want to take this off, you want to make sure you take it off real fast. Um, that way you don't peel up, peel off any paint. So you just want to make sure when you pull that off. Um, you pull it off pretty quick I meant to show you guys that in the step but um, I apologize for that so so this is the outcome um, once we take the tool off I think it looks pretty cool with that blue showing through kind of like how I was wanting it to uh, you can kind of see on the top there a little bit darker uh, we're gonna kind of darken that up here in a bit um, but this is what we got the bottom you can kind of see a little bit of the the veins coming through both sides um, so there we go all right so now we're gonna throw the stencil on uh, we're gonna throw we're gonna just use some wicked black uh, let me mix this up so just a few drops of some black let me grab our stencil here that my boy that guy skimpy made we got this right here we're gonna use this stencil let me uh, apologize about the, the sniffing I'm doing. I'm trying not to do it too much here. But, uh, all right. So we want to make sure we hold this on our bait. Get a nice, nice, sturdy positioning. I try to do this so I can show you guys, but it kind of puts me at an awkward position. Uh, put that, line it up in the back of the bait. Find a good spot for it. Bit lower. All right, and then we're just gonna do a nice, nice thin coat here. See that that crawl pattern coming through. Right, let me do a little heat on that, and then we'll do the other side. You 
to see me uh, dry my stencil also because you want to make sure that because this side with the paint is going to be the side that I'm going to be putting on this side because it's just the opposite now. So you want to make sure that you don't have any smudges, you know, or have a rag or, you know, sometimes I'll just wipe it on my pants, you know, whatever. Just make sure that you got this paint doesn't rub off uh, before you do this other side. All right, so now we're going to do this other side. Same thing, get a nice sturdy spot here. Line it up on the back. Try to get it to where you guys can see. kind of moved on that one all right but not too bad you kind of see how that's coming out there all right so let's throw a little heat on that Now we're going to come in once that compressor stops. We're going to come in and just kind of, there we go, darken up this top here a little bit with this black just to kind of meet the, the oh, there we go, we can see, kind of meet the two sides. So we're just going to kind of just throw some black on here. Just nice, nice and light, not, not too dark. Kind of on the shoulders. Kind of see that. You can still see the veins through it. throw a heat set on all this and then we'll get back all right all right so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna darken up around the eyes that way when we get ready to put the eyes on uh, like you guys see me do in all my most of my other videos I like to darken up around the eyes it just really makes helps make those those eyes pop or the colored eyes pop so we'll darken this up here and a little bit in the front here kind of darken up the face a little bit maybe down the side a bit Yeah, so I'm like I said, being the first time using this stencil, I'm I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Uh, well, the way the stencil is, you know, now it's just you know um, perfecting the the color pattern, figuring out exactly how I want it to to look, messing around with different colors, um, you know, just dialing it in on times of year, and because you know throughout the year. Crowd ads, you know, tend to change colors, you know, and also you got to think about the depths that you're fishing, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, but yeah, you know, I, I like the way that this stencil is looking. All right, so let me clean this, clean this brush real quick. And I think what we're going to do is come in with some more of that cinnamon. So what I did was I mixed some cinnamon and some wicked gold. Uh, same cinnamon that I put on the bottom here 
it's the same same thing what we're gonna do is I just added some wicked gold because of the the uh, the shine or the glitter sparkle that's in that wicked gold you guys have seen me use it in every video um, I really like that stuff um, just to give that bottom a little sparkles so I got I got that stuff mixed up here we're going to add that to the brush And we're gonna add that to the bottom here. Just kind of give that. You can kind of see how that kind of dulled out over the over time while we were painting. So let's see if we can brighten up the bottom here. Just a just a little bit. Not a, not a ton. Not trying to change the whole bait. We just want. I just want to kind of even out this this bottom here if I gotta do a couple layers I will but a lot of those pictures that I've been kind of looking at before I did this I was noticing that the bottoms their bottoms were kind of this tan this tan color so I'll kind of fade this up the side a little bit You can kind of see I just want the side just a little. I'll probably be giving this bait to my boy, that guy Skimpy. So if you're watching this, Skimp, I hope you enjoy it, buddy. And we can get out there pretty soon, man, and get on some fish. Once this weather stops being crappy and cold. Yeah, man, get out there and make some videos. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that sparkle right there. That color turned out exactly how I wanted it to. That's good. All right, let me heat set this. We'll pop some eyes on. I might think about, you know, like I said, a few of the pictures I've noticed. This back section here is a lot darker than the front so I might add some darkness but I don't know yet all right guys so I did decide to darken up the back here a little bit um, I kind of just did that off camera because it was just a little I added some pearl black just to kind of darken this up a smidge um, other than that the bait is done uh, kind of over here deciding which eyes I want to go with and I think I'm gonna go with these right here, these these yellow ones. Um, oh, that's an alarm. I kind of checked out a couple different colors on here. I was thinking about maybe going with like a funky, you know, bright, you know, maybe a neon color, or you know, I kind of checked out a couple different ones, but I think these yellow ones are kind of natural looking kind of give it a little a little pop to the front you can kind of see what it looks like there I already got this one on this side like I said I was checking out different different styles and colors um, but yeah so I think this bait is done now well besides clear coat so I'll slap some clear coat on it and, and then uh, and then let it hang and dry so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you guys haven't already, just go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to start trying to do, you know, at least one video a week. Now that we're past the holidays and all that. So I'm at least try to do a video a week, if not two, like I did this week. Um, you know, and then once the weather's better, I'll be doing some fishing videos um, as well. Fishing with these, these baits that I'm painting. Um, so yeah, and also go check out my boy, that guy Skimpy and his channel. Um, like I said, he's got a lot of good material on there. He's been doing this a long time, a lot of years, so he's got a lot of videos to check out. I'm still pretty new to, to YouTube, so 
I think this is only like my fifth or sixth video or so, but we're getting it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just drop a like, go ahead and subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot.